Have you ever thought about running Linux from an external hard drive? This is the perfect way to test and use Linux on any PC or laptop without modifying your main system. Instead of altering your Windows installation or partitions, you can install Linux on an external hard drive connected via USB 3.0 or higher and enjoy a fully functional portable setup. In this video, I'll show you how to install Manjaro Linux on an external drive, allowing you to carry a complete Linux environment anywhere. This method lets you boot different Linux distributions on any system without affecting your primary OS. For this project, you will need a USB drive with at least 8GB of storage to create a bootable USB with your preferred Linux distribution. You'll also need an external hard drive for installation. I'm using my Lenovo laptop running Windows 11 for this process. Next, I'll connect my 1TB external hard drive and install Manjaro Linux on it. Before installing Linux on the external drive, you'll need to format the drive. This involves deleting all existing partitions and converting the drive to unallocated space. Open command prompt, type diskpart and press enter to launch the disk partition tool. To view all connected drives, type list disk and press enter. This command will display all the storage drives connected to your computer. If you have only one internal hard drive, your main Windows drive will typically be disk 0 and your external drive will be disk 1. However, if your system has multiple drives, carefully identify your external hard drive before proceeding. Select the external drive by typing select disk 1. Make sure you've backed up your external hard drive, important data, before proceeding. To wipe the external drive data and remove all partitions, type clean and press enter. Finally set up the GPT partition scheme by typing convert GPT and pressing enter. Your external hard drive is now formatted and ready for Linux installation. Next, open your browser and navigate to the official Manjaro Linux website to download the edition of your choice. I'll provide the website link in the video description for easy access. Manjaro offers three different installers and for this installation, I will be downloading the Genome Edition. Click the download button to get the ISO file of the operating system. Now, let's download Rufus, a tool for creating a bootable USB drive. Head over to the Rufus website and download the application to proceed with the installation. Once both files have been downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder and run the Rufus application. Rufus will automatically detect your connected USB drive. Click on Select, browse for the downloaded Linux ISO file, and choose it. A warning will appear, stating that all data on the USB drive will be erased. Confirm and proceed with the installation. Please be patient, as this process may take some time to complete. Once the process is complete, restart your computer and boot into the BIOS settings. Go to your BIOS setting using the appropriate keyboard shortcut for your motherboard, commonly F1, F2, F9 or the escape key. Go to your BIOS security and disable secure boot to ensure compatibility. After making these changes, I will save and exit the BIOS. Now go to your boot menu option by pressing F9 key. The most commonly used keys to access the boot menu are F9, F10 or F12. In boot menu select your USB drive. The system should now boot into Manjaro from the USB drive. You can boot Manjaro using open source drivers. Simply select this option and press enter to proceed. Once Manjaro Linux has booted, click on the launch installer button to begin. 
If you see a message stating that the internet is not connected, simply click Next. We can set up the connection later. Select your system language, region and time zone. Choose your keyboard language and model. In the storage device drop-down menu, select your external hard drive. Click on Erase Disk, then choose Use Swap File. For the file system, select BTRFS. Click Next to proceed. Create a user account, which will be used for login after installation, and set a password. Click Next. If you want an Office Suite, select one from the list. Since I prefer not to install an Office application on my external drive, I will click Next without selecting any. You'll see a summary of the installation, including all partitions that will be created on the external hard drive. Click Install to begin. The installation process may take some time, so please be patient. Once the installation is complete, close the installer window and shut down your system. After the system is powered off, safely remove the USB drive and keep the external hard drive connect. Power on your system with the external hard drive connected, your computer should automatically boot into Manjaro Linux from the external drive. If everything is set up correctly, the system will load directly into the Linux operating system. The operating system is now running from the external hard drive, leaving your internal hard drive untouched and ensuring the safety of your Windows file system. You can use this external drive to boot Linux on any computer or laptop without needing your own device. Once you're done working with Linux, shut down the computer, disconnect the external hard drive and then turn the computer back on it will automatically boot into Windows operating system. And that's it. This is how you can install Linux on an external hard drive in 2025. Give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.